Hi, I'm Karen Shammas. Today I will be talking about Tuesday the 25th of February. The moon will be in uh, Pisces uh, till 7, um, 10 to 7 p.m. Universal Time, which means that if you're watching me from the Americas uh, on the East Coast, uh, the moon will move to Aries around uh, noon. And if you're watching me from the coast from the west side, uh, like California, probably the moon will be uh, in Aries uh, early morning. So you have to listen for both the moon in Pisces or the moon in Aries, depending where you're watching me uh, today. Starting with Aries, today it's uh, it can be a slow day. Don't expect anything to take place, anything important. Don't expect any news or any developments before the moon reaches your uh, sign. So uh, in the meantime, you have to sit and wait and you have to um, adopt a very slow, easy routine. Otherwise, you'll be disappointed. And then when the moon reaches your sign, everything will change and everything will be uh, uh, blooming and everything will be perfect. Because uh, Venus is in your sign, the best signs today are the best um, Aries are those born on the 9th, 10th or even 11th of April. Taurus, uh, today is a nice day with the moon in, in, in Pisces. As long as the moon is in Pisces, you can enjoy a beautiful, easy, cooperating kind of day. When the moon moves to Aries, you have to expect a, uh, a slow beat and then something may stop all of a sudden and you'll get stuck and you'll be totally disappointed. So you have to look up, uh, look out for that. The luckiest are those born on the 9th, 10th, 11th, 15th to 20th of um, April. And the least lucky, uh, excuse me, 15th to the 20th of May. And the least lucky are those born on the 23rd, 24th of April. Moving on to Gemini, Gemini with the moon in uh, Pisces, you may feel a little bit um, tired or you feel as if your all your energies are uh, depleted, but then everything starts to get better with the moon in Aries. You will feel supported and you think that you can actually count on uh, someone. So in the meantime, as long as the moon is in Pisces, you need to uh, prepare your plans and you need to be very professional. The luckiest are those born between the 9th and the 11th of June. Cancer, you should enjoy the... Uh, beautiful vibes of the moon in uh, Pisces. It should be a great day. It should be, uh, you should actually um, uh, um, achieve something very brilliant while the moon is in Pisces. So try not to postpone. If you're watching me from the Americas, you still have some time. Otherwise, you uh, it doesn't matter actually if the moon is in Aries, except that it may be a little bit uh, uh, a little bit more uh, uh, demanding for you. It's not negative. The vibes are not, not negative. All you have to do is follow the rules and follow your plans. The luckiest are those born between the 10th and the 12th of uh, July. Um, let's move on to Leo. Leo, it should be a nice day, whether the moon is in Pisces or the moon is in Leo or in, in Aries. Of course, you prefer the, the, the vibes, which are very easy and very positive and very empowering when the moon is in Aries. So in all cases, you have to do whatever you need to do. You have to make good plans. You have to be ready and you need to be a little bit more flexible and then you will get your reward as soon as the moon reaches Aries. So the luckiest are those born between the 12th and the 14th of um, August, but when the moon reaches Aries, then the luckiest will be those born in the month of July. Uh, Virgo, you don't like, you don't seem to appreciate the vibes coming from the moon in Pisces. And I don't blame you. They may be a little bit tough on your delicate nerves and your delicate emotions uh, and sentiments. So may you may feel a little bit out of tune and you may feel out of control, uh, but you have so much energy and you need to control that because you don't want to make a, 
uh, cause some trouble or get in a row or a dispute or anything. Things will get a little bit better and things seem to get in the right path when the moon leaves Pisces. So when it's in Aries, things seem to be <clears throat> a little bit more it's a little bit more in under control and you can actually um, work in a more precise and meticulous way. So don't worry about that, but just try not to get in trouble when the moon is in Pisces. The Especially if you were born on the 11th, 12th of uh, um, September. Moving on to um, Libra, uh, you should, if you want my advice, you shouldn't wait for the moon to reach um, Aries because then you will feel as if something is working against you, like you're trying, you're giving your best and then things seem to uh, stop or something seems to go wrong. Uh, it's not that bad. I'm just exaggerating a little bit. So if you can hurry up and try to get what you really need to do before the moon reaches um, Aries today, uh, you would be uh, under the spell, let's say, of the moon in Pisces uh, all day long. If you're watching me from the uh, from Europe, from Africa, from the from Asia, so that will be uh, great for you and uh, supportive. Anyway, in all cases, the luckiest are those born between the 12th and the 14th of October. Moving on to Scorpio, it's a beautiful day. Try to get the best of it. It's like when, they, when it's a sunny day and you want to get the best of and the most of the sunshine. So this is it for uh, Scorpio. It should be a very nice day. It should be a very helpful and collaborating kind of day. Your achievements should be actually brilliant. So uh, the time quality is actually one of the best uh, in this month. Uh, when the moon moves out of Pisces and it gets into Aries, things start to get a little bit busier and you'll need to concentrate more and put more energy into your work. The luckiest probably are those born on the 29th, 30th, 31st of October. Moving on to um, Sagittarius. Uh, with the moon in Pisces, you will feel a little bit overwhelmed with family issues, with personal issues, and maybe with colleagues trying to get into your, uh, your, 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 into your business. And um, it seems like you're a little bit touchy. Um, so try not to give it more than it deserves. Just take it easy, take a deep breath, because immediately when the moon reaches um, Aries, you will feel totally uplifted, empowered. It's like an immediate 180 degree change. So you may regret something you may say. Uh, take it easy. Uh, count till the moon reaches Aries. That's 7, 7 p.m. universal time around noon uh, if you're in New York East uh, uh, Coast. The luckiest uh, when the moon reaches Aries, that will be those born in, this, in, in, in November. And all day long, the luckiest are those born on the 11th, 12th of December. Let's move on now to Capricorn. Capricorn, it should be a very active, nice, um, productive, rewarding day. You are very efficient. You are actually, uh, people look up to you. Uh, you seem to be the, the role model today. You have great inspiring ideas and, and great uh, powerful ideas. So you can be actually very convincing. When the moon reaches Aries, you may feel a little withdrawn and you may feel a little bit moody and try, try actually not to get into that mood. Don't fight with your siblings or with uh, others. Things are not that negative. If you were born on the 27th, 28th, 29th of December, actually, you really need to take it easy. Planet Mars may get you in trouble today. Let's move on to, but I have to say that the, uh, the luckiest are those born on the 25th, 26th of December. Let's move on to 
Aquarius. Aquarius, it's a beautiful day, whether the moon is in Pisces or the moon is in Aries. It's a beautiful, perfect day for Aquarians. And there is no need, no excuse for Aquarians to say that they could not make it. It should be a perfect day. It should be a very nice day. But you have to know that you need to uh, um, make everything ready in case you get tested, in case your work is being evaluated, whether you're at school, whether you're at college, whether you're at work. Yes, today is a kind of an evaluation kind of day. So you have to be ready for that, uh, like a drop quiz, for example, or a quick uh, uh, um, presentation at work. So at least mentally, you have to be ready for that. The luckiest are those born on the 7th, 8th, 9th of February. Pisces, you are the luckiest uh, sign today. It's a beautiful day. It's one of the best days. It's I talked a lot about it on Sunday and Monday. So today, Tuesday is another perfect day. Try to um, get what you really need to be done before the moon reaches your sign. It's like a stepping stone. So there is no excuse. This is the best energy that you can get during for for almost i think for the for for this for the season you know for the winter season this is a great day things are actually perfect there's nothing wrong with your work try to present it in a very convincing way but you have to feel the self-confidence and then everything will be perfect everything you're waiting for it will come out and will sort itself out. Everybody actually is lucky today. So basically, this is it for Tuesday, the 25th of February. I wish you all a great day and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.